you what's going on y'all it's jay Small reviews here man back with another episode of book em. uh doing it back to back videos i personally enjoy making this series a lot so um hopefully y'all like it as more it goes on you know i'm gonna be tweaking little things in it trying to make it better as we go but still the same concept uh booking battlers next few battles last time with av i know we did it uh, a loser and a winner's path uh particularly for this episode we're not going to do that being that there's not a battle coming up so we will be covering five possible battles this battler can get into and as you see by the title this is the tay rock bookum uh rock one of my personal favorite battlers one of the greatest all time definitely in the goat conversation i have him up there uh debatable in the first spot with Geechee. Um, absolutely incredible career. And let's be real, Rock's resume stands up there with the, the best of the best. So there is not that many people left for him to battle. So we're going to get some obscure matchups here, maybe some stuff you weren't expecting. But just mapping out 2022, we're going to do five battles. Doesn't mean he's going to take five. I don't believe he'll take five. But we know Rock loves to battle. I expect a few, possibly, of these to get done this year. And yeah, let's get into this. So into the first battle we are coming up, uh, possibly for Rock, we got Easy to Block Captain. Obviously, both being gun titles, um, both being pretty on top of the world right now. Uh, easy on a, uh, a streak for an up-and-comer that we haven't, you, you see very rarely in battle rap. Um, you know, one of the greatest, you know, quickest and possibly greatest rises already into a top tier. And then Tay Rock, a legend himself, uh, even though they are within the same, t same team, like I said, there has been talks about them battling. Same with Surf and Chess. They all plan on battling each other, which I don't mind. I think inter-team matchups work out more often than not. I think you can look at Writer's Block uh, and look at all the classics they were able to put on. Um, you look at the Bardashians, even though it was a murder official in Jazz. Uh, you know, that was before. So technically, that doesn't count with the Bardashians. But official and Casey, who were on the same team, even just had a good battle on a Chrome 23, I don't mind inner team matchups. I know some people, it, it says, you know, oh, the animosity isn't there. But a lot of these guys are friends behind the scenes anyways, guys. So even if they're not a part of a team, nobody, it's very rare that someone really, there's disdain and hate for each other on that stage. So I think Easy versus Rock could be a fire battle. I think that probably will go down this year, if not this year, next year. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say. Uh, two heavy hitters going at it. Um, definitely both are going to have a competitive edge if they battle. But... I, I still think, I, I, I'll put it, it's a competitive sparring session is how I like to put inner team battles. So, first one on the list, I wouldn't be mad at that. Uh, coming into the next battle that we could possibly be seeing, um, Swamp. Now, I think that this might be the most least likely of all of them. I think in terms of pushback and what the fans want, this would probably be one of the more least mentioned, just because many believe, as well as myself, that Swamp might not be ready for a Tay Rock play, uh, let alone... I would say that possibly he hasn't earned it yet. Um, but with Rock having such a full filled out resume, it really leaves him battling a lot of up and comers um, outside of the the few that he missed, uh, like when he battled Danny earlier this year and a couple people we're going to get into, uh, you know, as we go on. But Swamp, uh, that Southern, you know, draw, uh, I think it will be good. A lot of real talk, probably an angle heavy battle. Obviously, both of them have yelled at each other over the internet. I think even Rock said in his uh, twerk battle, uh, you fucking up is the reason I got to battle dudes like Swamp. So, you know, a lot of disrespect on Swamp's name from him. Definitely a battle I could see book. Maybe not on a marquee card, but a super fight, something of that nature. Um, I think Swamp might need to build up a little bit of a streak. We might even do a, a book him or a video on Swamp just to see how, how he could progress his current stock. But, you know, hopefully Swamp can get two or three battles together. And if he is on a sort of hot streak... Due to the previous history of arguments, I could definitely swamp see Swamp versus Tay Rock being booked at some point. Um, and hopefully Swamp can get back to that uh, all-star trajectory that he had when he first came into Battle Rap. So, so far we got Easy and Swamp as two possible opponents for uh, Tay Rock to battle with in 2022. Then to get into our third matchup, uh, another up-and-comer that I think uh, that has also been linked. Uh, Tay Rock has personally called him out. I believe Tay Rock has... Personally said that he would battle everyone in this list. We all know that Tay Rock would battle. You know he's not ducking smoke. He has god tier, top tier, mid tier, low tier plates. He battles everybody. Uh, man just loves to battle. One of the reasons that he became the face of battle rap is just the pure work ethic that he puts in. The consistency to be great damn near every battle. Um, but real sick. 
Now, I know uh, a gripe that's come up with Real Six car career so far, even though he's done fantastic to start out, I would put him um, possibly a second best in UM1 behind Easy. I think him and Fonz are, you know, fighting for that second place spot. But Six done great. I think a lot of people have him losing his last few battles, um, particularly Clear. I did have him losing to Av Clear. Uh, but uh, the consensus has leaned towards DNA and Pat Stay uh, having beat Real Sick. I believe those battles are debatable. I actually edge sick both battles. Uh, I recognize the issues of him not having clear wins, and I understand it's the minority opinion. So in, in real intelligible debates, uh, I would approach it probably as him losing those battles. But I, I personally think, you know, maybe it's, a, maybe it's a hot take, but I had him beating Pat and DNA uh, on an edge. And then I did have him losing to JC in the one-rounder. But throughout all four of those battles, six been good. Uh, wins and losses, obviously, is something that comes with time. Uh, I think a lot of vets, uh, a lot of guys who even go to be great later in their career, top tiers, take some early developmental losses. Um, but real sick, called out by Tay Rock, the multisyllabic, uh, I think he can get into an angle bag. You know, I don't know if he's particularly ready for Rock yet. I think out of all the newcomers, you know, we've discussed easy. I think sick would make sense. It's kind of building. Um, so maybe it doesn't even happen this year. I would, of course, I'd like it if it happened this year. It's the reason he's on the list. Um, but I could see him building up, you know, becoming more of a star, coming into his own, and then possibly battling Rock uh, in 2023. But I think in terms, you know, Rock doesn't have that many people left to battle uh, without going off league. I am not including any uh, off league battlers on here. Um, you know, I think matchups like Rock versus Big K, you know, would be dope. But then I still want to keep this a little more realistic. Uh, you know, what are the chances that, that gets booked? So I think uh, Real Sick is just a fantastic uh, choice. One of the better up-and-comers, uh, and along with Easy, I think two UM1 battlers that would make for a great style clash with Tay Rock. Uh, and then on to my next, speaking of him earlier, particularly in the last one, Av. Um, obviously, in the Av book him, I don't believe that I mentioned Tay Rock as a possible battle for him, but there has been talks of them having a conversation down the road. Uh, and, and, you know, we're getting down that road. Um, you know, it's gonna, a lot is gonna depend on what happens in this Danny Myers battle for Av in terms of, you know, if his plates are gonna rise up in stature or if he might have to take a couple, uh, lower tier looks that maybe he wouldn't traditionally take. But I think there's history there. Most likely it's just gonna be a punch fest if they battle. And Av is great for footage when it comes to, uh, to punch fest. Um, I think he's had problems, uh, as I said in the other video, getting clear wins on top tiers or even making it debatable with top tiers recently. But this will be a career look for him, and I think that we'd get Av in rare form. So to before we get into our last pick for who I actually think Tay Rock's next battle should be, so far we have Swamp, Real Sick, Easy to Block Captain, and Av as possible matchups for Tay Rock going forward. Finally, the matchup that I believe best suits Tay Rock. Uh, what I would like Tay Rock's next battle to be, you know, whether it will or will not, you know, but I think B Dot is the perfect next matchup for Tay Rock. Now I know that B Dot was uh, originally offered to battle Surf on the Any Given Sunday card. I will have predictions coming out for that uh, very very soon. Um, but on the Any Given Sunday card, obviously before Cortez, it's it's become pretty much public information that B Dot was going to be the one for Surf, and he turned it down. Uh, stating that his reason is working on music music project that he has coming out, an album coming out, um, and other life things he has, to, uh, he has to get to, which as a man, you know, I completely understand. Sometimes in life, there's just other things. B-Dot is obviously very passionate about his on-track career, um, his music career, and he's one of the best actual on-beat rappers in the game. So shout out to him for, you know, doing the priorities for what he considers uh, his passion. But I think with B-Dot, I wouldn't say he's underrated. We all know how good he is. It's just a matter now of him to battle these big-time looks. The conversation, if it's on a stage or not, I'm not going to get too much into here. Uh, that's something that I'll tackle if the battle gets booked. But obviously, whether it would be a small room or a big room, will play into a factor into that prediction. But B-Dot's on top of the world right now. I think coming into the year, you know, I think the Clips battle, I have him losing that. Uh, and I think that didn't help the narrative about him you know, not being able to be as great on a big stage as he is in a small room. But we all know talent-wise, it's time for him to see the rocks. It's time for him to see the surfs. It's time for him to see more and more the, the big, big-time names. Um, you know, he's a little in and out of battle rap, it seems, but I do think this will be a great battle for him. It has been in the talks. Uh, I believe that he's exchanged words and been called out by both surf 
and um, Rock. I think even the chess battle would be a good look for him. But the, the point is that BDOT going forward is definitely going to have more of those clips level opponents, those top, top tier, well-recognized opponents. I personally think it is the best, it is quite possibly the best battler that Rock hasn't seen to this point. So everyone that he has battled, or at least realistically could battle, you know, you get into the Illmax and stuff uh, over on the West Coast in different leagues, it gets to be a different conversation. But BDOT is ultra, ultra, super talented. And I think everybody realizes it's time for him to get those big names and tests and see where we truly rank him with a full resume amongst his peers. So hopefully uh, we get BDOT versus Tayrock this year. That's the number one battle that I personally want to see for Rock. But as we see here, we have five battles Rock could take. BDOT, Swamp, Real Sick, Easy to Block Captain, and Av. Um... Yeah, I think it would be a nice schedule, or even three or four of those, but I think those are all realistic names that he could take and would make for good style matchups for Rock going forward. And that's going to be the full list of matchups here for uh, Tay Rock's Bookum. Uh, a little different since he doesn't have a battle coming up, and plus how solidified he is. There's not a there's not a path where I could say, oh, if Rock loses his next battle, he has to take this. Or if he wins, he should take this. Uh, Rock is pretty much... God tier. I mean, there's nothing left for Tay Rock. Tay Rock can never battle again tomorrow, uh, starting tomorrow, and Tay Rock's legacy is absolutely stamped. So these are just some matchups that I think people that aren't on his resume that I think would make for a good matchup with him. Um, you know, if there's other matchups out there, I know T Top's one that could be thrown around. I'm not too particularly interested in that. I think all five of these might be a little more beneficial. Uh, at least for the battlers coming up, I just feel like T-Top's career is already pretty cemented without that rock battle, and they had the weird little quarantine. So if you want, T-Top could be an honorable mention, but I think these five battles here really cover a lot of different ground between uh, top tiers that haven't fully gotten all the uh, big plates that they deserve, like a like an Av, maybe a B-Dot, and then some up-and-comers, you know, real sick easy and throwing swamp you need a wild ball in there to get it mixed up i mean we just saw surf surf taking cortez you know some of us thought that we never get that battle um and if that's happening i don't think uh you know maybe a rock for swamp is in the cards maybe they're taking you know more people that they'd consider chasing them for a while and uh, giving us some different matchups so i you know any of these i'd love to see you know we all just love tay rock content for the most part it's good footage so definitely with it but um with that being said guys this is the end of this bookum episode the tay rock edition i hope you enjoy it uh leave some feedback you know I, I, if you guys could uh, if you have a particular you know your favorite battler if you want to book them done for or anything of that nature let me know i love making these videos i love making different content outside of just the predictions and recaps uh, i know that takes up a lot of battle rap uh as media it's my job to keep people updated uh with events on this channel but i do like this more different content making series so let me know guys do you like these little book em episodes um and if there's any battlers that you would like me to do an episode for you know comment or reach me on twitter my twitter is in the description of this video um but yeah we got a lot of battle rap this weekend got a lot of content coming your way and yeah guys just keep an eye out for me so you know like comment subscribe like i said particularly comment love to go back and forth with y'all um but yeah i'm out peace